Welcome in the section number five. In this section, you will see how to run your services on production. So we will be looking at the specific things that are needed to deploy your application to production. Firstly, we'll be getting ready for production with Spring Boot Actuator. We will add Actuator to our class path and will expose the endpoints that are exposing health of our application and metrics. In the second video, we'll see how to cache responses. So we'll be using caching at the endpoint level. In the third video, you will see how to do exception handling and logging in our application. Next, we will package your, our application with Docker. And in the last video, you will see how to monitor your systems via exposing different kinds of metrics in your application. And this is end first video in which we'll be getting ready for production with Spring Boot Actuator. So we'll be enabling Actuator. We'll see the configuration of our Actuator. We'll be examining application health endpoint and we will also implement our custom health check. So if you want to add the behavior of Actuator to your application, first thing you need to specify a dependency to the Spring Boot Starter Actuator. That is the first thing. Next, inside of the application.yam, we need to configure our Actuator properly. So the first part is to give our endpoints web-based path. So they should start at the root HTML REST path. We want to expose everything, all metrics, everything. And health checks should be enabled by default. So our application should be constantly checking its health. Next, there are some specific things to management. So also we want to expose info, health and metrics. So it is overriding this one. So we are specifying here info, health of metrics. So these three things should be exposed via REST endpoint. We don't want to export metrics to Atlas. This is an external dependency and we don't need it right now. And lastly, our endpoints exposed by the actuator should not be protected by the security. We want to have them available in our application. Once we have that, we can just start our application and we will see that we will get some health things and information about health of our application. So let's start our application and see those health checks. Our application is started and let's go to the application slash health. We can see that we have status down and downstream health check is down. So we need to investigate what is a downstream health check and why is it down. Also, we have some other health checks like disk space is up and we have some free space. We have database health check, refresh scope and history status is up. So downstream health check is written by us. We will see how it behaves and why it is down right now. We have downstream health check that is a component and it needs to implement health indicator. This is an indicator of health of our application and it has only one method that is called health. Our health method is doing some specific logic. We need to inject the travel destination detail and travel destination detail is the component that is doing a REST call to the external service. We can see that it has a get info about city that is doing a request to restcountries.eu. So this is a third party service and we want to know if that third party service is up or down. So our logic is the following. Every time we are calling the health endpoint, it will be executed and invoked. So we are doing a travel destinations details, get info about city Warsaw. This call should be proper. So response should be okay. If inside of the response we have is not currently available, it means that our health check is down. So we are returning down and building it. Otherwise we are saying that it is up. Also there could be exception thrown by the get info about city. And if it will happen, then it means that our health check is also down. So creating a health indicator and annotating with the component will allow Spring to automatically pick that and add to our health endpoint. So when we refresh it, we can see that it is up right now because when it was read down, there were some problems with downstream system. So maybe it responded too long 
or maybe there was some intermediate problem. But right now everything is up and we can see that our status of application is up. So using that endpoint, you can build a metric around your application and you can check if the status is up. If it not, it can do a pager duty or send you a specific signal to see what's going on with your application.